Hey yo, what's up my little coders? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send a delete request in Java. But before sending a delete request, we first of all need to have an API which would allow us to do it. For that, we are going to use today a service which is called restfulapi.dev. This service supports main HTTP methods, including delete. It's free and doesn't require any registration, so it's perfect for learning and practicing. But before sending a delete request to delete an existing object, we first of all need to create it, right? So that we will have something to delete. For that, let's first of all try to send a post request in Postman, and let's create a new resource. Alright, if I just copy this request URL, and if I go to Postman, if I create a new request, and if I set the request type to be a post request, then if I just copy exactly the same request body as from the example here, and if I paste this request body here, and if I change the type of this request body from text to JSON, because this request body represents a JSON object, and if I just hit a send button, you can see that we've been successfully able to create a new resource. We got a status code equal to 200, and 200 represents that the request was successful. Perfect. Let's try to validate, just in case, that you know we can access this object. Alright, if I copy the unique ID which was generated for us, and if I replace the ID from 7 to this new ID, and if I hit a send button, yes, we can see that we are able to access this resource which we just have created a minute ago. Perfect. Now, Let's try to send a delete request to basically delete this resource. For that, let's create an instance of the HTTP request class. HTTP request was introduced in Java 11, so if for some reason you're using the older version of Java, I just would advise you to basically update it to a bit newer one, because yes, Java 11 is not that new as well. All right we need to specify what is the request type of our request which we're going to send. In our case, we're going to send a delete request, and we want to say to the REST API that, okay, it's a delete request, can you please handle it as a delete request, not like as a get, put, patch, or something else. So yeah, we want to be specific here. After that, we basically want to provide the request URL of our request, and it basically will be the same request URL as for the get request. So we can just, you know, copy it from here. Let me just paste it here. And after that, I can just call dot build and that's it. Our request is basically ready now. If, for example, if you're using some different REST APIs, then, you know, this different REST API might require you to set some authorization tokens as part of the headers. You know, you can just add it here. But in our case, since we are using the RESTful API.dev, this is all what we need. No authorization tokens for us. Perfect, request is ready. So now we can basically send it to this uh, REST API. Uh, let's create the instance of the HTTP response so that we can get a response back from the API. Let's specify that our response will be a string. And now we can create the instance of the HTTP client, which was also introduced in Java 11 version. And we can also, you know, call a send function. And here we just basically provide our request and we provide the body handlers type. And it will be of type string as in most of the cases. I will just print the response code just to validate that, you know, we are doing everything correctly and we're getting a response code equal to 200. And let's also print the response body as well. So response.body. All right, if I run this code now, Yep, we get a status code equal to 200, meaning that the request was successful, and we also get a message back as part of our response body, 
and this message says that the object with this ID was deleted successfully. So if I go back to Postman and if I try to send this GET request again, we can see that yes, the object was not found and here we even get a specific error message saying that, you know, it wasn't found because it basically doesn't exist anymore because we successfully deleted it. So yeah, guys, I think that's it for me. If you think that this tutorial was useful to you, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you guys and see you later. Good luck.